Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. This crochet tutorial is for my gorgeous grandma's garden afghan. This is something I wanted to make for a very long time and even though it might look very difficult to make, it's very easy and I'm going to walk you step by step through the process so you can make this gorgeous afghan for your own home. Now this crochet tutorial will be in different parts to make it easier for you to go step by step through the process of making this afghan. Now the blocks for this afghan are all made the same. We're just using nine different color combinations but making them in the same way to make it even easier for you to make. I'll then show you how to join your blocks together and then after all your blocks are joined together to form the afghan, I'm going to show you how to put a beautiful simple border around the afghan to just give it that really nice accent to finish off your blanket. For our project today, you're going to need the Lion Brand Yarns. Now, I want to give a special shout out to Lion Brand Yarns. They have sponsored this video and they have supplied me with all the yarn I needed to make this gorgeous afghan. So I want to thank Lion Brand for their support of my designs. So let's get started on what you're going to need today. Now, you're going to need two skeins of these very large Lion Brand Pound of Love. Now, in my last video, video I wasn't done making the afghan yet and I thought you needed three because I wasn't done with the afghan so I miscalculated a little bit so I do want to apologize to anyone who purchased that extra skein of yarn but you're only going to need two so let me tell you about the pound of love and you can really see how large this yarn is compared to the other skeins of yarn. It's a wonderful value and you get an extremely large amount of yarn for your money. It's 16 ounces. It's 454 grams. There's 1,020 yards, 932 meters. It is a four medium weight yarn. It's 100% premium acrylic and this is wash and dryable and when you make something as large as an afghan you want to be able to put that in the washer and dryer this yarn was made in egypt and this is color antique white it's color number 099 so you're going to need two skeins of the antique white and then we're switching to the vanna's choice for our different colors this is a 3.5 ounce skein. It's 100 grams. It's 170 yards, 156 meters. It is also a number four medium weight yarn. It is 100% acrylic. The yarn is machine wash and dryable. The yarn is made in Turkey and you're going to need two skeins of color number 113 Scarlet. And all the colors I've chose were the Vanna's Choice, so all the information is the same. You're going to need two skeins of color number 172C in this beautiful Kelly Green. Two skeins of color 158 Mustard, beautiful yellow. Two skeins of color number 109E Colonial Blue. The last color you're going to need is terracotta. This is color number 134, so two skeins of the terracotta. So looking at all the yarns I just showed, I just want to tell you one more time, you're going to need two skeins of the large pound of love in the antique white. Then the Vanna's Choice, you're going to need two skeins of the terracotta, two skeins of the colonial blue, two skeins of the mustard, two skeins of the Kelly Green, and two skeins of that Scarlet Red. You're also going to need a size I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now the one thing I want to emphasize is Lion Brand is releasing this design in 
to a kit. So if you order the kit, you're going to get a free pattern to make the afghan. So when you're on the website, you can choose, if you click on the kit link, you can change any of these colors. When you order your kit, you can change the background color if you want a different color for around your blocks, or you can change any of these colors if you want something lighter, maybe pastels, or maybe different color blues or purples, anything that suits your style of crochet you can change those colors so thank you lion brand for that it's not just these colors you can choose your own colors so i'll put the link to the kit in the description box underneath the video just click that kit and you can order everything you need to make this afghan so let's go ahead and get our afghan started we're starting with block number one and block number one we're starting with this beautiful red scarlet color so grab your yarn grab your hook and let's get this afghan started i already have my red or scarlet attached to my hook and i just used the double knot you can use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn to your hook so this is the beginning of block number one all our blocks are made in the same way, but each different block will be made in different colors. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to chain four. You're going to yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. That creates your first chain. That's one, two, three, and four. We're going to skip the first three chain. You're going to insert into that fourth chain from hook and you're going to slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook, and this creates a ring. We're going to be working right into the center of that ring. Now this little piece of yarn here, I'm gonna hold right up against my work, and I'm gonna work right over that. So now we're ready to begin round one. For round one, you're going to chain one. And now we're going to start our repeat. We're going to be working right into the center of this ring we're going to work a single crochet into the center of the ring and chain two. And we're going to do that a total of eight times. So let's begin. You're going to insert your hook right into the center of the ring, front to back, and work a single crochet. Yarn over, pull back through. You have two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you make a single crochet. You're going to chain two. That is one of eight. We need to do that seven more times. Insert into the center of the ring, work a single crochet. Chain two. That's two of eight. Insert into the center of the ring, work a single crochet. Chain two. And that is three of eight. And as you're working, you can just pull those stitches back, insert into the center of the ring, work a single crochet, chain two, and that is four of eight. Insert back into the center of the chain, single crochet, chain two, that is five of eight. Insert back into the center of the ring, single crochet, chain two, and that is six of eight. Go ahead, take your fingers, just pull those stitches over, make more room, insert into the center of the ring, work a single crochet, chain two. That is seven of eight. One more time, insert into the center of the ring, work a single crochet, chain two, and then we're going to join our round by working a slip stitch right into the top of that beginning single crochet. Insert under the top two loops of that first single crochet, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. So round one of your block is finished. So now we're done with the red, so we're just going to fasten off. Now when I fasten off, I just cut my yarn. I like to leave a little bit longer length because I like to have enough yarn to weave in back and forth several times. I chain two, pull my hook up, pull the yarn out, grab, 
pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. Now you can use whichever method you prefer when you fasten off your yarn, but I prefer to knot my yarn so I know it's nice and secure. So when I turn my work over, I go ahead and clip this because I worked my stitches right over it. I weaved it in as I went, so I'm just going to clip this end here. And if you do this and weave your ends in as you go, it really does save a lot of time. Now, when I made my afghan, I left the ends hang. And when I got the afghan done or my blocks, you can just sit on your couch or your favorite chair, put in a video, a movie you like, and then just spend the day weaving your ends in as you're watching a movie. It's just nice and relaxing doing that way. But again, if you do it as you go, it really does save you time. So now we're ready to begin round two. So round two, we're going to use our mustard. So grab that mustard or yellow color and let's start round two. So now it's time to start round two. So I have my mustard color. And again, I'm leaving about a five or six inch length. Now I'm not going to secure this with a knot. I'm just going to pull it through. So for round two, we're working into the chain two spaces only, right in between those single crochet. So go ahead and insert in any chain two space, insert your hook from front to back through that chain two space, take your mustard color and just pull that through. We're going to start and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And again, this is just hanging in the back of my work and I'll secure this with a knot after I get my round finished, I'll weave it in and knot it. So we're going to start with a popcorn stitch. And when you do your very first popcorn stitch, you're going to make it with a chain three. That counts as the first double crochet of the first popcorn stitch only. The other popcorn stitches will be made with all double crochet stitches. We're going to work four more double crochet back into the same chain two space. To make a double crochet, you're going to yarn over Insert from front to back into that same chain two space, yarn over, pull through, you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. That's how you make a double crochet. So when you're working, just go ahead and pull those stitches over. We're going to work three more double crochet into that same chain two space. One. two, and three. So again, you should have a total of five stitches. Your first double crochet will be that chain three, and then four more double crochet for a total of five stitches. You're gonna just lift your hook up and pull up a loop. You're going to come back over to this beginning chain three. Insert your hook from front to back into the top of that third chain right at the top and then bring your hook over and insert it in your dropped loop. You want to tighten up that loop, pinch your stitches together, and then pull that loop through the top of that stitch. That is how you make your popcorn stitch. We're going to chain two, one and two. And now we're going to start our repeat. Again, we're only working into the chain two spaces. So let's begin the repeat. We're going to work five double crochet into that next chain two space. So if you need to, what I do is I take my two fingers, grab that first stitch, and I just kind of pull it to the side so I can see my work. You're skipping the single crochet, and you're going to work five double crochet into that next chain two space. Insert from front to back, and work five double crochet all into that same chain two space. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull your hook up, make a loop, and then come back to the very first double crochet of the five double crochet group. Insert under the top two loops, then bring your hook over and insert it into the dropped loop. Tighten that loop, 
Take your two fingers, pinch that stitch together, and then pull that loop through that first stitch. You're going to chain two. And that is the repeat, and we're going to do that six more times around. So let's do it again together. You're going to work five double crochet into the next chain two space, yarn over, insert into the chain two space front to back, and work five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull up a loop, remove your hook, you're going to come back to the first stitch of the five stitch group, insert from front to back, insert into your drop loop, tighten that loop, take your two fingers, pinch that stitch together, and pull that drop loop through that first stitch. You're going to chain two, and that is the end of the repeat. So I'll do it one more time with you, and then you can continue on your own. You're going to yarn over, Insert from front to back into the next chain two space. Work five double crochet. One, two, three, four. and five. Pull your hook up, make a loop, remove your hook. You're going to come back to the first stitch of the five stitch group, insert under the top two loops, then insert into the dropped loop that you dropped, tighten that loop, take your two fingers, pinch that stitch together, and then pull the drop loop through the first stitch. You're going to chain two. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and repeat popcorn stitch into the next chain two space and chain two. Popcorn stitch into the next chain two space and chain two. Work that around and I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. We worked one popcorn stitch in each chain two space around, and we have a chain two in between each popcorn stitch. So you should have a total of eight popcorn stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you should have a total of eight chain two spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're ending with your eighth chain two space. So now we're just going to go up and join our round and you're going to go up to the top of that beginning popcorn stitch. You're going to go right into the top center. You pinch that stitch together. There's like a little hole right here. Just insert right down through the top center of that stitch. Yarn over, pull back through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. So round two is finished, and now we're just going to fasten off our mustard. Again, I like to leave a longer length, just so I know I have enough yarn to knot and weave in that end. Again, I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So the next color we're going to use is the Kelly Green. So grab your green, and we'll begin round three. So now we're getting ready to start round three. So I have my Kelly Green, and again, I'm going to leave about a five or six inch length. Now you can join your yarn in whichever way you prefer. This is just the way I do it. Now for this round, we're only going to be working into the chain two spaces between those popcorn stitches. This is where we're going to work. We're not working into the popcorn stitch. So I'm just going to go back. This is where I fastened off, and this is the first chain two space. I'm going to insert my hook from front to back, and I'm just going to pull that Kelly Green through. And we're going to start with the chain one, and I'm going to work right over my end. We're going to work a single crochet, a double crochet, three triple crochet, 
a double crochet, and a single crochet in each chain two space around. So let me get you started. Insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. Double crochet back into that same chain two space. And then I always like to pull my stitches over. Now we're going to work three triple or treble crochet, however you say it. So I'll show you how to make your first one in detail. You're going to yarn over twice, insert back into that same chain two space, yarn over and pull back through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. That's how you make a triple crochet. I pull my stitches over and now we need to make two more treble into that same space. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same space, work your triple crochet. We need to do that one more time and work a triple back into that same space. And then again I pull my stitches over. We're going to work one double crochet back into that same space. And then we're going to work one single crochet into that same space. And what this is doing is creating a petal. So now we're just going to repeat that in each chain two space around. You're going to insert into the next chain two space, work one single crochet double crochet back into that same space. Now we're going to work three triple crochet back into that same space. One, two, and three. Grab those stitches and pull them over and make room for the rest of your stitches. Double crochet back into that same space and then work one single crochet to finish your petal. And that is the repeat and you can see how your petals are forming. So let's do it again together. You're going to skip the popcorn stitch you're going to work a single crochet into the next chain two space. Double crochet back into that same space. Work three triple back into that same space. That's one. two, and three. Grab those stitches and pull them over. Work a double crochet back into that same space. And then finish your petal with one single crochet into that same space. And that is the end of the repeat and you can see your petal is formed. So if you need additional help, just click back on the video. You're going to go ahead and skip the next popcorn stitch and into the next chain two space, work one single crochet, one double crochet, three triple crochet, a double crochet, and a single crochet to form your petal. You're going to repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round three and you should have a total of eight petals. So again, if you need help, just click back on the video and I'll meet you at the end of round three. I'm over at the end of round three. This is what your block should look like so far. You should have a total of eight petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we ended with a single crochet and now we're just going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that very first single crochet. Insert your hook through the top two loops and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Round three is finished. So we're done with the Kelly Green. So again, I'm just going to fasten off. So 
So now we're going to switch to our antique white and start round four. So I have my antique white and now we're ready to begin round four. For round four, we're going to start into our first petal. This is where you fastened off. This is your first single crochet. This was the double crochet and you want to start into the very first triple, which is the highest stitch. So again, you fastened off here. You're going to skip the single crochet, the double crochet, insert under the top two loops of that very first triple of the first petal. Again, I'm leaving about a five or six inch length and I'm just pulling my antique white through the stitch. We're going to chain one. We're going to single crochet back into the top of that same stitch. I'm just going to leave my white hang behind and fasten that when I'm all done with this round. We're going to chain two, one, two. You're going to skip the next triple crochet and you're going to single crochet into the next triple crochet. You're going to chain two. We're going to skip the next double crochet and we're going to skip the next single crochet. We're going to work a double crochet right between that last skip stitch, the single crochet, and right before the next stitch. So you're going to yarn over, you're skipping those next two stitches, insert between the skip two stitches and that next stitch. So right in between those two single crochet, insert your hook from front to back, work a double crochet. You're going to chain two. Now we're going to start our repeat. We're going to single crochet into the first triple crochet of the next petal. So you're going to skip that next double crochet, insert under the top of that very first triple crochet of that petal, work a single crochet. You're going to chain two. You're going to skip the center triple, that next triple, and single crochet into the next triple stitch. You're going to chain two. You're going to skip the next double crochet, skip the next single crochet, and we're going to work a double crochet right between those two single crochet right in the bottom of the V. So again, you skip the double crochet, you skip the single, insert between the skip single and the next single crochet stitch front to back, and then work your double crochet. You're going to chain two. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do the repeat again. Skip the next double crochet, single crochet into the top of the next triple crochet stitch. You're going to chain two. You're going to skip the next triple, single crochet into the next triple stitch. You're going to chain two. You're going to skip the next double crochet, skip the next single crochet, and work a double crochet right between that last skip single crochet and that next single crochet. Insert from front to back and work a double crochet. You're going to chain two. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. You're going to skip the next double crochet Insert into the top of the next triple under the top two loops, work a single crochet. Chain two, skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next triple crochet. You're going to chain two. You're going to skip the next double crochet, skip the next single crochet, and double crochet between that last skip single crochet and the next single crochet right down in the bottom of that groove. Insert right between those two single crochets front to back. Work your double crochet. You're going to chain two. So this round, I'm going to work the entire round with you. So let's do the repeat again. 
you're going to skip the next double crochet, single crochet into the next triple crochet, chain two, skip the next triple, and single crochet into the next triple stitch. You're going to chain two. You're going to skip the next double crochet. You're going to skip the next single crochet, and we're going to work a double crochet right between the skip single crochet and the next stitch. So yarn over, insert right between those two single crochet stitches at the bottom V of these petals, work your double crochet chain two and that is the end of the repeat so we have three more repeats to go you're going to skip the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch chain two skip the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch chain two you're going to skip the next double crochet skip the next single crochet and double crochet right between the last skip stitch that single crochet and the next single crochet insert from front to back right between those two stitches work your double crochet you're going to chain two skip the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch chain two skip the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch chain two now we're going to skip the next double crochet skip the next single crochet and you're going to double crochet right between that last skip single crochet and the next single crochet insert right between those two stitches and work your double crochet you're going to chain two and now we're going to do the repeat one more time to finish the round. You're going to skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, chain two, skip the next stitch, and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to chain two, you're going to skip the next double crochet, skip that next single crochet and you're going to double crochet between that last skip single crochet and the first single crochet of the next petal insert from front to back right between those two stitches and work a double crochet you're going to chain two and that is the end of the repeat. So now we're just going to come up and we're going to join our round with a slip stitch right into the top of that beginning single crochet. Insert under the top two loops of that stitch and slip stitch through the stitch and through the loop on your hook. So round four is finished. This is what your block looks like. It's still being worked in the round. And now we're going to continue using the antique white. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right in and start round five. So now we're ready to begin round five. Round five is a pretty easy round. We're going to be working into the chain two spaces only. So we need to get our hook over to that first chain two space. So we're just going to go ahead and slip stitch right into that first chain two space. We're going to chain one. And now we're going to start our repeat. We're going to work a single crochet back into that same chain two space. You're going to chain two. You're going to single crochet back into that same space. And that is the end of the repeat. We're making a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, V stitch in each chain two space around. Find your next chain two space, insert into that space, work a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet back into that same chain two space. Find your next chain two space. Again, we're skipping all the stitches and only working into the chain two space. So insert into the next chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. Let's do it again. Find your next chain two space, 
work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. I'll show you one more time. Find your next chain two space, insert into that space, work a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet back into that same chain two space. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue and work one single crochet, a chain two, and a single crochet in each chain two space around, and I'll meet you at the end of round five. I'm over at the end of round five. We worked a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in each chain two space around, and you should have a total of 24 single crochet V stitches around your work. So now I'm going to go up and join right into the top of that beginning single crochet of the round. Insert under the top two loops, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Round five is finished. So now we're ready to begin round six. We're still using the antique white, and we're going to be working into the chain two spaces only. So we want to get over to our first chain two space, so insert underneath the first chain two space and slip stitch through that space and through the loop on your hook. Now we're ready to begin round six. Round six, we're going to be working the same stitch pattern of a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in each chain two space around. We're going to begin with a chain one and then insert back into that chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same chain two space. Find your next V-stitch, insert into the center of that chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. Let's do it again. Find your next V-stitch, insert right into the center of that chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. I'll show you one more time. Find your next single crochet V-stitch, insert into the center of that chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same chain two space. So go ahead and continue and work one single crochet, a chain two, and a single crochet into the chain two space of each V-stitch around, and I'll meet you at the end of round six. I'm over at the end of round six. This is what your work should look like, and you should have one single crochet V-stitch in the center of each V-stitch around or in each chain two space. So you should still have a total of 24 single crochet V-stitches around. And now we're done with our antique white. We just need to finish our round by joining with a slip stitch. You're going to come over and insert under the top two loops of that first single crochet stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. We're just going to fasten off our antique white. So round six is finished, and now we're going to switch back to our scarlet color. So grab your scarlet red, and let's begin round seven. So I have my scarlet, and I'm going to leave about a five or six inch length. And for this round, you must start into the first single crochet V-stitch. So make sure you start in the correct place, because it does determine how this round will come out. So this is where we fastened off right here. I'm just going to insert my hook from front to back right through the chain two space of that first single crochet V-stitch and pull your red color through. You're going to chain one and we're going to work a single crochet back into that same chain two space. Chain two and then single crochet back into that same chain two space. You're going to find your next single crochet V-stitch, 
insert right into the center of that chain two space of that v-stitch work a single crochet chain two and single crochet so now what we're going to do is we're going to make that beautiful big triple cluster stitch and we're going to drop all the way down three rounds to these double crochets that's in between the petals so let me walk you step by step through making this stitch and please do not be intimidated i'm going to go slow and i'll be very detailed so even a beginner can make this afghan you're going to yarn over twice one and two bring your hook down three rounds one two three to the double crochet that's between the petals you're going to insert from front to back and then back to front you're just going underneath the post of that stitch and now we're going to work a triple stitch but we're going to leave the last loop on the hook and not finish the stitch and we're going to do this three times you're going to yarn over pull underneath and around the post of that stitch you have four loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops we're going to leave this loop on the hook so instead of finishing the stitch you stop here and you keep that loop on your hook we're going to do that two more times you're going to yarn over twice bring your hook down and you're going to go from front to back and back to front underneath the post of that stitch and then you're going to work your triple and then you're going to yarn over bring back underneath and around the post of that stitch you have five loops you're going to yarn over pull through two loops only yarn over and pull through two loops and then you leave the last loop on your hook and you have three loops and we have two triple stitches around the post of that stitch we need to do that one more time because we need three triple you're going to yarn over twice bring your hook back around to the front of your work insert from front to back back to front underneath the post of that stitch and we're just going from top to bottom and layering these stitches you're going to yarn over pull back underneath and around the post of that stitch you now have six loops on your hook you're going to yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops and then you stop you have four loops on your hook you have three triple crochet leaving the last loop of each one of those stitches on your hook again you should have four loops you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook and this creates that burst pattern that we're seeing on our block so now we're ready to begin our repeat and for this round this is where you're going to click back on the video and you'll start where I say this is the start of the repeat and you will end where I say this is the end of the repeat so let's go ahead and start the repeat we're going to begin and you want to make sure that you pull this triple cluster back and you want to get into the very next single crochet V stitch and this is very important so this round works out correctly insert into that next V stitch on the top current row underneath the chain two space work a single crochet chain two and then single crochet back into that same space find your next single crochet V stitch insert under the chain two space work a single crochet chain two and then single crochet back into that same space find your next V stitch insert underneath the chain two space right in the center of that single crochet V stitch work a single crochet chain two and then single crochet back into that same space now we're going to work our three triple cluster three rounds below into this next double crochet that's right between the petals you're going to yarn over twice drop down three rounds one two three insert from front to back back to front just underneath and around the post of that stitch you're going to yarn over pull underneath and around you have four loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops we're going to do that two more times yarn over twice bring your hook back around to the front of your work insert from front to back back to front around the post of that stitch 
yarn over, bring it underneath and around the post of that stitch. You have five loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over and pull through two loops. You have three loops on your hook. You have two triple made, leaving the last loop on the hook. And we need to do that one more time. Yarn over twice, bring your hook back around to the front of your work, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that same stitch, yarn over, bring it back underneath and around that stitch. You now have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over and pull through two loops. You have four loops on your hook and you have three triple crochet with the last loop of each stitch on the hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. And that is the end of the repeat. And it will like want to stand up on the side. That is what gives it that twisted burst look. And as we complete the round and the block, it's going to have a beautiful effect for the block. So let me do the repeat one more time with you and then you can continue on your own. Again, you want to pull that triple back, find your next single crochet V-stitch on the top current row, insert into the chain two space of that V-stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same space. Find your next single crochet V-stitch, Insert into the center chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same space. Find your next single crochet V-stitch, insert under the center chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same chain two space. Now we're going to work our three triple cluster into the double crochet three rounds below. It's right into the center between those two petals. You're going to yarn over twice, bring your hook to the front of your work and drop down one, two, three rounds, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch. You're going to yarn over and pull it back underneath and around the stitch. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're leaving the last loop of that stitch on your hook. We need to do that two more times. Yarn over twice, bring your hook back around to the front of your work, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch, yarn over, pull back through and around the stitch. You have five loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over, pull through two loops. You have three loops on your hook. You have two triple made, leaving the last loop of those two stitches on your hook. We need to do that one more time. Yarn over twice, bring your hook back to the front of your work. You're going to insert from front to back, back to front, around the post of that same stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around that stitch. You now have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over and pull through two loops. You want to stop there. You have three triple made, leaving the last loop of each one of those stitches on your hook. You have a total of four loops. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Your three front post triple cluster is made. So when you look at your work, as you started, you only have two single crochet V-stitches. But then as you work the pattern, you're going to have your three triple cluster, but make sure you have three V-stitches in between each one of those clusters. One, two, three, a cluster. One, two, three, a cluster all except where we started. So we end the round, we're going to have a cluster around this stitch, but we'll have to work one more B stitch. So go ahead and continue working around. Again, you're going to pull that stitch back. You're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in each of the next three V stitches on the top current row. 
and then you're going to drop down three rounds, one, two, three, and work a three front post triple cluster around this double crochet down in between those two petals. So again, if you need additional help and more detailed help, click back on the video, start where I say this is the start of the repeat, work until I say this is the end of the repeat, work that around until you make your last cluster here, and then I'll show you how to finish the round. I'll meet you at the end of round seven. I'm over at the end of round seven. This is what your work should look like. You should have a total of eight of the front post triple clusters around your work and then you should have three single crochet V stitches between each one of those clusters except where we started and where we're ending. So we're going to end the round by just pulling our last front post triple cluster back. You're going to find that next single crochet V stitch on the top of a round, insert into that chain two space. You're going to work a single crochet, a chain two, and then single crochet back into that same space. And then you can see we have our three single crochet V stitches between those clusters. So now we're just going to join with a slip stitch right under the top two loops of that first single crochet, insert under the top two loops, and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. I'm just going to go ahead and fasten off my red. So round seven is finished and this is where I'm going to stop the video today. This will be part one and this is block one and we just worked rounds one through seven. Now I'll be back with part two where we're going to be doing rounds eight through 12 and I'm gonna show you how to take this circle and turn it into a square. And then in part two, I'll also show you all the other combination colors for the remaining blocks and then I'll give you all that information so you can get all your 20 blocks made. And then part three, I'll come back and I'll show you how to join those blocks together. So thank you everybody for stopping by today. This is such a fun project that I just love working on with you. So until next time everybody, stay inspired and happy crocheting.